Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a jumbo Dollar Tree haul for you today. I am getting ready to go on vacation, which I've mentioned a hundred thousand times. I'm sure you're sick of hearing about it and be like, just go already. It's next week. <laughs> but I needed some things and then I wanted to do some DIYs. Now that I have my craft space back, I can do more crafting. So I picked up a bunch of stuff and I will share with you what I got and a bunch of new stuff. So let's get started. At my store, I found these are called Street Vision. These are not a Dollar Tree brand. I don't know how much they normally go for, but they're 93% polyester. There's some rubber involved and spandex. They're men's socks and they even have a little tag on them. Um, my nephew, I think, will enjoy these immensely. He's gonna be in high school, you know. So I got this color, which is just a bunch of blacks and grays, and these, and I thought these would be great to wear with like sweatpants and stuff. They're super thick and nice and stretchy, and for one dollar, you can't beat it. And they're pretty thick too. I think they'll be great in the winter time for them. So I grabbed two pair. This is all they had at my store. Well, they did have a green pair, but I didn't like them. They looked different, and I didn't care for them. But they, I grabbed these two for him. At my store. All right, guys. I'm singing today. Apparently, I feel like singing. Um, if you see, if you seed, did you seed my vlog? If you have seen my vlog from yesterday, I have been enjoying an adult beverage every once in a while. I don't. I'm not a heavy drinker. I'm not a big drinker, but in the summertime, I do enjoy something. So I've been doing this drink called a London Fog, and it's sugar-free lemonade and gin. So I picked up a box to take on the trip with us um, of that. I have pretty much one. I am freezing some of it though to see if I can make popsicles because well, duh, who doesn't need a gin and lemonade popsicle? We'll see. Uh, for the car ride, I just got some gum. Not the best value, but that's okay. Um, I picked up some of this Baker's twine. Look at these fall colors. I hope you can see, I've got my um, ring light on my phone. It's a gold, an orange, and a brown. I thought this would be super fun for fall. Um, yeah, I, I think it's out all the time, but I just, this really struck me as a nice fall color, so I grabbed them because you just grab things when you see it. They're already putting fall flowers out. I am not ready for that life right now, but twine, I can handle. I'll just stick it in with my other twine. Then I'm gonna be making for us, and I'm ordering the stuff, I don't have the supplies right now, but some um, lotion bars. They're like little circles and they're solid and you rub them in your hands for lotion. And I get with that essential oil kit. So I grabbed these, I'm not sure if they're appropriate or not for what I need, but I feel like they are. Oh, and this is a women owned company and it's just refined. So this is 100% pure refined coconut oil. I think I hear the cat. I let him outside for a few minutes. I did. Let me get him in. And then this is just coconut oil. Um, this is used in like a solid or a lotion. And these are used as a carrier oil when you're mixing essential oils. So you have to, you can't just use straight essential oils. And I've never seen the liquid at the store. So I thought I'm going to grab that and then a solid to make the lotion bars. Hang on one second, please. Okay, I'm back. He's in. He likes to go out sometimes and he just lays out front and I'm okay with that. Okay, so we were talking about the oils. Um, I'm gonna read up on it. I have some of the coconut oil. If not, I can cook with this stuff. It's fine. It is definitely food grade. So I grabbed the coconut oils, which again, I, if you don't want things in large quantities, these are a good value. If, you, if I'm gonna start mass producing lotion bars, then I would get bigger containers, but I think this is perfect for what I need. And then, ooh, next bag. Um, again, not a great value. However, convenient. We needed to bring some dish soap for the condo, and these are each four packs of the Cascade Platinum. So again, this is not something I'm using at home, but to take on vacation, these are perfect. This will get us eight loads to the dishwasher 
and I usually just leave it behind. And if we need more, we can go buy more. But I thought, you know what, this is a great portion for vacation. So I grabbed two of those, name brand, Cascade. And I actually use this, the Platinum, and I like it. Hi, Dubs. You want to say hi? No. He does not want to say hi. Oh, and also, if you watched yesterday's vlog, I put the tree of cat carrier and boxes away and they're in the garage and I put the cat tree that I bought where those boxes are and Alex is sleeping on it now so that makes me happy that was not a waste of my dollars um, oh apparently I got all kinds of drink mixes here some more lemonade I didn't know I picked I forgot I picked up more lemonade it's fine I'm done now for the summer so I have three boxes of lemonade. Oh, they had the Starburst and Blue Raspberry. And I thought that would be fun for my little cousin Addison. I think she will enjoy those, hi baby. And then I grabbed just a peach tea because I like it. So I think that's a good amount of those. You saying hi? Come here. Oh, oh, oh. you wanna say hi? Ooh, this is Wellington. Hi, say hi, baby. Hi. Oh. He had his last dose of medicine today of the steroids. He's so funny. Yeah, well, well, he was getting one dose every other day. So three doses ago, he figured out he could spit it out. And it took me many, many, many tries to get it down his little throat that morning so then the next dose I crushed it up I just get nervous that if he doesn't eat it all and Alex gets to it before I do I don't need him having steroids it's not gonna hurt him but it's not his medicine but this morning he let me just I just push it down the back of his throat and he's getting better at it I just don't like being traumatic with him alrighty so I found the floating wall shelves guys they're plastic, I'm not gonna lie, but they do come with the wall anchor and the screws. I mean, everything is in here for a dollar. I grabbed two, I don't know, they may end up in my downstairs bathroom over here. It's a very small vanity and this could sit on the, hang on the wall and hold like the soap and stuff, but we'll see. For a dollar, somebody will use them, maybe Sarah, I don't know. Um, Sarah's my niece. So these are cute and they're beveled. Now they are, I'm gonna say black. Yeah, they're black, but you can paint them. It's plastic, spray paint them whatever color you like. I just grabbed two because that's all I thought I would use. But I thought that was a fun find to share with you. I found, oh, I got some of this adhesive poster stuff. My new desk is glass. And then I bought a desk pad from Ikea and it's sliding. So as I'm typing, my keyboard is walking away from me. It's very aggravating. So at first I thought putting this on the back of the desk pad, but I think I have a better solution. But this is great for all kinds of stuff. And I'm wondering, I don't know, but it might work under the keyboard to keep that from sliding across too. Everything is sliding and it's driving me nuts. Not gonna lie. So I grabbed some of that just to try. Um, in the craft section I got some of the lace ribbon it's really pretty and it's very like earthy boho natural for some of maybe my cross stitch patterns or something I don't know it was pretty and in the makeup section um I found some hard candy brand and it's just a highlight glitter it is called um just a glow it's fairy dust but it's packed so you can use it with a powder so swirl a powder brush over the pan and then apply using soft sweeping motions wherever you want a soft shimmer glow. Oh, that's fun. You know, just a nice little highlight. Um, if I use it, that's great. If not, I'll pass it on to one of the girls. Hi, buddy. And then the last thing I found in the craft section, which I'm super excited for, are these little nail arts. They're the same. I bought two. I've used them before other brands, but th what they are, let me take it out of this packaging. Um, I love them for summer, especially on my toes. And I did go and get my toenails done yesterday. I was gonna video, but it was kind of busy in there and everybody was wearing masks and it just was not comfortable to feel like I wanna pull my camera out. Okay, 
So in this, you're only getting one sheet. Again, cheaper somewhere else if you want volume. But again, I just want this little tiny bit. There we go. So what you do, they're little, it's still glaring, sorry. But they're little flowers and then the bigger ones have a crystal in the middle. And then what you'll do is, what I do is I paint my nails, let them all dry, and then before I clear coat, I stick a sticker on one of these, and then I do a couple layers of clear coat, and they stick really well. They have all different designs, but I just like these a lot. They also had crystals and things. So I grabbed two packages, which is equivalent to a set that I would buy at like CVS or something and I'm getting exactly what I want which are these little flowers so I'm gonna I will show you maybe when I put them on hi buddy can you move can you move thanks there you go here why don't you sit right here sorry guys here why don't you oh not my shirt please let's unhook from my shirt thank you why don't you sit right here that's a good idea okay the rest of this stuff I'm fairly certain is all for crafting I went craft crazy guys but now I have my space um I found these at my store at first I really wasn't sure what to do with them but now I think I have a couple ideas so I grabbed two of these now one thing I can tell you right now if you sealed this up you can use this to hold a bar of soap and it keeps it dry it's perfect size for that too that's not probably what I'm going to use it for it may become a sign it may become a something I don't know but I grabbed two um, now these I know exactly what I'm doing with I'm going to do I bought three packages of these and they are 0.63 of an inch can we just not say they're a half an inch these are like little half inch cubes you can make dice out of them I am going to make a candle holder out of them and I got three sets um, but I'll probably use, you know, make two. But they're just individual little, oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Individual little wooden cubes. And I'm going to stain them. I don't think I want to paint these. I think I want to stain them. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to have a DIY out on these little wooden beads, but wooden cubes. But what else is amazing we're going to try is they have wood glue. Now, I have some wood glue, but I'm going to try their brand and see how it works. And this is two fluid ounces. It says it's wood glue. So we're going to try to glue this cubes together. So I grabbed that. They also had craft glue and like a clear, which by the way, I think I got gypped. There's only like this much glue in here. It's fine. But it has a nice tip on the top. We'll try it. It's glue, y'all. Um, I picked up a spoon to for crafting purposes. Hi, baby. This is going to go back to, I'm going to be making um, lotion bars and stuff with essential oils. And I don't want to use my cooking utensils. So I'm picking, I'm going to grab some of these. I think I need to grab a plastic measuring cup, which I should have picked up that I didn't. Just some containers to utilize with essential oils. I mean, they're not going to hurt me, but I just don't want to mix body products and food. And these are a dollar and they're silicone. And it, this works like a spoonula because it's very flexible. So I'll be able to clean and stir. And I think this is all silicone. It doesn't really say, but if it gets ruined, I'm not that concerned. So I grabbed one of these. I may pick up a couple extra or a um, plastic measure just to have for specifically for crafting. I don't, that's one thing I don't have. Um, I grabbed two of these. These are not paint pens. These are chalk writers. How fun is that, guys? And they had them in all different colors, but I'm a sucker for the metallics. So I got a silver and a gold, and these write specifically on chalkboard. Excuse me. They are wet erasable, mess and dust free. So, yeah, how fun is that? The one store I was at was fully stocked on all the markers. I, go, I went to two stores today. 
and one is on Broad Street. If you live in the area, I've got some folks that live close by. Hey neighbors! And these were at Broad Street up in Reynoldsburg near the giant, no, Target and Meyer, way out Broad Street at Taylor. And then the rest of the stuff was at 256. But the one out on Taylor has a really good craft section now too. So these are great and I wanna try those out. And then I got some erasable highlighters to try a little something something on. So I sew, you know that, you've seen my sewing stuff. Um, I found out that you can use erasable, like the friction erasable pens, when you iron it, it goes away. But that I think is designed for heat. I'm gonna try it with an erasable, this kind of erasable and see if heat will take it off. I'll just try that on a piece of paper and iron over it because then I can use it when I'm sewing or like on patterns and then iron off the highlighters and stuff if I need to. I just wanted to try it just for curiosity's sake. I made some cold brew. I did have some questions. I do cold brew, iced coffee, regular coffee. The only kind I don't care for is instant coffee. Not a fan of the instant. Let's see what's over here. Oh, and for a craft I have coming up, I got, and these are plastic, but I think they're gonna do perfect from what I need. So I got these little plastic shot cups and these are dessert containers, but you get six. And then here you get 24. These would also be great if you're painting with kids to put paint in or glitter or anything small. And they're pretty sturdy so you can wash them. But I have these up for a craft that's coming out later this week. Um, I picked up more cork. I think I got five sheets. There was a couple boxes at my store. So I grabbed five sheets. Um, one of the ideas I have, I'll show you probably in my vlog, you may have already seen it. Again, my pad that climbs across the table, I'm thinking about corking it on the back side to see if that'll stop it from walking across my desk. We're going to see, because I, like I said, it's driving me nuts. So I saw those at the store and thought you need those in your life. Okay. And then. I got a couple more things here. Guys, told you this was a big haul. I grabbed, oh, is that, is that broken? Oh, that one's broken. Well, I'll take it back. Anyway, I grabbed these three because I wasn't sure which ones I wanted to use, but it looks like I'll be using these two, which is fine for a craft that's going to be coming up. So I grab these, they're just trays, plastic. Everything is plastic and I'm okay with that. I'm not putting anything heavy on them, but I'm kind of bummed I grabbed a broken tray. I mean, I could fix it and use it. Um, and I might, or just take it back, it's fine. Okay, the last items. I'm shook, guys, I'm shook. I'm uh, super shocked to find these in the store. Again, with the pink, but whatever. They're um, miniature clamps. I got two sets, one for my um, advent calendar that I'm doing and this. So I'm gonna open these because these are for me. I think these would be perfect for paper crafting or really anything that you need to hold together something small until it dries. So the big ones would be an overkill. Oh, that is awesome. That is a nice clip, guys also use these in sewing but think about this I've got two layers I need to hold together you just put the clips on them and you get six of them I think that is wonderful these are gonna definitely come in handy for crafting and I mean that's a decent bite too that if you need to clamp things together to allow the glue to dry oh these were exciting find um, and like I said they were Craft your square section. This is the first time I've seen them come out in my store. And you get six. Now, the one store I was at, I did grab the last two packages. At my other store, they had a bunch on the shelf, but they had just restocked their craft your square section, it looked like. So these are fantastic. And I 
was very happy to find them. All right, guys, that is everything I purchased this week at the Dollar Tree. Um, I hope you enjoy. If you did, if you could like and subscribe, that really helps my channel out a lot, especially hitting the like button or smashing the like button. That sounds so aggressive, like smash that button. It's not, I know, I'm just being silly. Oh uh, yeah, and I will have some DIYs out this week or at least one for sure. And then next week while I'm on vacation, I'm gonna queue up a couple, um, just a couple videos will go up while I'm gone and I will hopefully get some footage of vacation. All right, guys, I will talk to you later, and you have a good one.